Okay, friends, it is minus 24 Celsius, which is minus 11 Fahrenheit. <coughs> oh, <coughs> it's hard on the lungs. <coughs> it has been, well, <coughs> it's been warm here. It's been above freezing. This is a lovely shock back into winter. And <coughs> my lungs, whoa. We're not quite ready for that. Oof. Yeah, the chickens would normally be out and everywhere. No, they're hiding inside too. You can hear how cold it is with the squeaky snow. My luck would be the goats gave birth last night after me not thinking they would. No, no babies. That's good. We don't need frozen babies. Hazel here is going to give birth soon. She's bagging up. Lily is either not pregnant or not due for another cycle or something. Your nose is freezing? Well, you need a scarf on. This isn't gonna cover your nose. You need to wear a scarf. I'm gonna go check the cow's water. Oh yeah. We're having a problem with our power down here. Now we have a... Get water on me! Am I getting water on you? Marius's brother is coming today to help him try and figure out why the electricity down here is not working. There we go. Not as frozen as I thought it would be. I'll probably take out some of those big chunks. Yeah, I know. I'm going to No, it's fine. You just work on the cow. I'll take care of it. Otherwise, it'll freeze right out thicker. Yeah, I'll just take it out with my hands. Yeah, Can you uh, hold it? Yeah, uh, now wash her. Yeah, you can do it. <coughs> Back to you. Tell me about it. I offered to use the pitchfork. Yeah, it's. are warm. <laughs> yes, they are. In minus 24, this is nice. The backs of my hands are cold, though. <laughs> That's why you stick them into the armpit. I feel if I make oh, her armpit is nice. If I go so fast, my arms start getting sore, blood starts pumping through faster. Oh, that is nice to just stick your hand up in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Goats don't have that, though. Oh, you're just being here. Stop whining about the goats. You know why we have them. I know why we well, have them. Well, stop whining. Them. Go inside then, Freya, if you're cold. If you're whining, we no one asked you to come out. Yeah, Freya voluntarily came out to do chores, and we're not sure why. Minus. Why did you come outside, Freya? You didn't think it'd be in this. You didn't think it'd be this cold? Hey, it's cold enough though that we can make winter candy. Yes, we're gonna make maple syrup candy today. Hey, maybe ask Uncle Simon if he wants to bring Hunter over so he can have. <clears throat> Hunter's not been feeling well, so Hunter and James will stay at home. Yeah. Okay, let's swap the boat. Yes, warm up great. Quick, warm up. No, quick, just get milking again. 
so we could get inside. <laughs> I gotta do my animals. I gotta do the rest of my animals too. Oh, we've been spoiled with the warm weather. <laughs> I cannot wait for spring. So then the cow's muddy. So then it's not minus 24 hours. Oh, the steam is so warm. Are you Don't feel your hand in the bucket. Hey, I'm just getting the steam. <laughs> gonna win. It's not a race, we're just milking. It's not a race, but if I finish first, did I win? Only because I got Oh, my the... eyelashes are starting to freeze up. I know, I hate that. Minus 31 pen, I closed my eyes because they were cold, and they froze shut. <laughs> Look at us, we're a bunch of whiners. Woo! <sighs> you... I was so used to it after like two weeks of this, of minus 20 and minus 30. You keep scratching I my- I can't feel what my thumbs are doing, I'm just milking my, the cow. My hands feel normal. I don't, yeah, you're, you win every time because you're, you milk longer and I, I have I know, the, I'm just being silly. And I have the teeth that- Oh, I can't wait to milk and then go inside and have more coffee. Nor chai latte. And you have another chai latte? I gotta finish mine oh. first. So when your friends watch this YouTube video, you want them to see you looking ridiculous like that? When do my, this, when do my friends, they only watch the good ones. Like the ones where you guys are fishing or hunting? Fishing, hunting, they watched our fly tying one, our worm video. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm sorry. Control your, warm your hands up if you can't feel them. Then you stop warming your hands well, up. Well, if the bucket's closer to me, I can milk towards myself. The bucket was close to you, and so my hands were close to you. <sighs> my hands are freezing cold. You don't want to say hi to your friends? Wax in the museum. You're, you know, like wax f museum figures. Okay. We were, you have to freeze like one of those, mm -hmm. and we were doing like, we do it so easy, and we just like all huddle up in a big ball. Yeah. And then I kept going, and every everyone started laughing like crazy. Oh come on! Yeah, even the cat didn't come for milk this morning. No figure. If I were the cat, I would be in the hay barn. I would be snuggled up between two bales in the hay barn. Hey, for this YouTube video, what would you be doing right now if it was minus 24 out? Would you be outside voluntarily milking a cow? People say, you're so lucky to have a milk cow. Are you still so lucky? What is this cold out? What would you be doing if it was minus 24? Well, a lot of people, well, actually, it's a holiday today in BC. So people aren't going to school and a lot of people aren't going to work. What, what would you be doing? What would you be doing? You probably wouldn't be outside if you didn't have to be. If you're outside. This is what farmers do, though. It don't matter the weather. You're if, outside. If you were outside, 
on family day, tell us what you were doing. Yeah, so today is a statuary holiday in British Columbia. What can we do for family and day? And it's called family day. Which is kind of a joke because there was a lot of family days when Marius still had to work. So it kind of just felt like, you just milked him all over me. You shoved your... Ah. That's what you get from trying to scratch me. It felt kind of like it was just being shoved in our face because it was family day and Marius still had to work. But today we're all home. Although, <clears throat> Marius' brother's coming over to try and help fix the electrical thing. And then I'm helping him with some Instagram stuff. Because his brother... Can we do game night for family day since we couldn't do it last night or the night Probably before? Probably do for game night, yeah. Um, Mary's brother has been tanning sheep hides and started selling them. And he's been doing it online. And <laughs> I have been <coughs> helping him get his business off the ground online. And he needed some help with something. So I'm going to help him. He's going to help Mayor. You just milked on me again! I'm not looking where I'm milking. You're not looking where you're milking. Do you want me to finish off and you go feed the cat? I'll just warm up in the armpit. You just should warm up in her armpit first. This is why you have to put your gloves in your pocket. If you put your gloves on the ground, oh yeah, you they'll be so cold. Well, I hope you're not doing what we're doing on Thursday day. <laughs> How fortunate are we to spend time as a family outside in the Not cold? Not me, just the two of us, just, just the family. <laughs> what else do we do for family day? <laughs> <laughs> that was real. <laughs> Turns out we didn't lock Clover and I just walked out to put the milk down to go get her grain. And she just pulled out of the stanchion. No, you get your morning grain. You gotta go back in there. You go back in, cow. No, go back in. Good cow, you didn't even move. We didn't even realize you weren't locked in. I love how cheery the chimney looks and the sun's coming. Do you want know funny? I uh, walked out of the milking stall to go get Clover her grain. And she backed up to walk out of her stanchion. We had, didn't even lock her in. Huh. That's like the third time that's happened. Yeah, she just stands there. Hey, Pepper Dog. Hi, Pepper Dog. Let's go get Clover her grain. Come, Pepper. Yeah. Just a reminder that if you enjoy this video, you should like it. it. Helps other people find my videos. And subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. I put out a new video every Wednesday morning and Saturday morning. And I love when you guys comment. I love reading your comments. You guys are so nice. Okay, sometimes some of you aren't very nice. <laughs> but 99% of you are nice. Do you guys get cracked eggs where you live? Yeah. We, um, if we have lots of cracked eggs and we need eggs, these become baking eggs. As they thaw, the crack kind of heals up enough and we'll put them in the fridge and they're good for baking. Uh, right now we have lots of eggs and there's only one cracked one, so I'll let it thaw and then crack it into a bowl for the dog. Ooh, can I crack it into the bowl? Well, it's kind of frozen, so you can't. I think your shirt's on backwards. It for that. No, it's not. See? Okay. Here, the tag's at the front. Eh? Okay. I like it like this. Should we put it in the fridge? Um, well, these hey, ones. There's another crack. Is there another cracked one? Okay, I'll go through these and we'll see. Two cracks. I got two, two buckets of eggs to deal with. Okay, two cracks. And 
Hamish got the dishwasher going while I was outside, which was awesome. Still got some big dishes to deal with though. Man, does it look gorgeous out there. Oh, this is crack. Just gorgeous. Something One pick up. Okay, maybe we'll just bake something with these eggs. Yeah. Okay, crack. Okay, four cracked eggs. Four the cheese crack. I was making yesterday I was brining. We ended up with four cracked eggs plus one that was pecked by a chicken or just, you know, knocked together. Sometimes that's just what that is. So I think we're one disgusting one, yeah. I think we'll wash that up. So I think we're going to bake something that uses a bunch of eggs. What should we bake? Crepes. So this is normally a minus 30 or colder thing, but we were sick then, so we're doing it now. When you want me to turn it off? No. Uh, don't take such a big piece, that's greedy. I know. That's a small piece. Okay, can you not this melt all like over normal. the paper? This tastes like normal snow. Mm, mm, mm. 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 Let's try a part with caramel on it. It's maple syrup, Hamish. Looks like caramel. Okay. I've got two and a half trays of, <coughs> well, not half. Of a bicolor organic frozen corn. This is some butternut squash, and I'm hoping to then powder and put in things because my crew just does not like squash that much. And a tray of leftover chili that's been sitting in the freezer for a while. It will just be a good convenience meal. All headed to my freeze dryer. So I've got my four trays in. This is a medium harvest right freeze dryer. Oh, this is the drain tube because the like it builds up ice in there when it's extracting the moisture right so between batches you drain it so that's just still sitting there from last time but i have the valve closed then i just lock this shut and um, you have to turn this on 15 minutes before you want to load it so it starts chilling so it's actually been on for 16 minutes now sometimes i leave it on longer because i just forget and we just go continue so first it freezes, then it vacuum dries, or vacuum freezes, I can't quite remember. But first it just freezes it all to very cold and it tells you what the temperature is right there. And then this automatically, this is the vacuum pump, which then draws the moisture out and it automatically kicks on. Soother. No soothers. It's not bedtime. Oh, you think if I can't see it, you don't have it? <laughs> I have this rocker glider in the basement, and it's my favorite place. No, Rowan, Come hide, stay read a book, no! drink tea. Bye. Rowan, you okay? Um, Sometimes I move it closer and sit in front of the fire, but I'm not doing that today. I'm just sitting here drinking tea. Then the kids found me, so I kicked them outside to go play outside because it's so beautifully sunny. 
And I'm just enjoying my little break. Marius came in and he sees me sitting in the corner because he walked. There's a door right there. So he walks in. He's like, huh? I'm like, I'm just having a drink. Break. Drink a tea. He's like, good. Good. He always encourages me to have a break. To drink tea. He never has expectations of me going, going, going all day. And I don't have expectations of him doing that either. And I just really appreciate that. Well, they all found me in my basement, including my brother-in-law. And then suddenly they're all down there sitting around talking. So I came to hide upstairs now and enjoy a cheesecake brownie. wind is colder than we expected. Muskrats. Oh yeah, we have them. Can we bring that home to skin it? No. Mm. They have really big claws though. This is just a little one. It's, yeah, we have a couple of them. I'd love to skin it. And then, um, then I can give it to Uncle Cole. Remember how yesterday we were complaining about it being cold for milking? It's colder! Oh, today's the last really cold day though, so that's good. Um, so I'm gonna say, it's cold. I have no more words other than it's cold. Without asking, he's giving the animals. He's in charge of extra bedding, and I just love them seeing, you know, taking initiative like that. They're good kids. Thunder stars enjoying the sunshine in the hay barn. Is it nice in here, kitty? Quite the shadow of mine today. No, it'll turn off itself. They don't want to stay flipped. Yeah, these are a lot harder to flip. I 
the girls were playing with some bread dough. And it got left here and it's growing now. We also made some of the bread dough into donuts. Hi, BB. Um, this is out of the freeze dryer now. And something that surprised me about freeze drying is how almost unchanged a lot of fruits and vegetables look. Like they are, but they aren't. They don't shrink like they do for dehydrating. So there's freeze dried corn, chili, the chili bust up. I love freeze dried chili. And then freeze dried chili looks kind of like barnacles. <laughs> so then it's almost hard to sh like. They're very hollow, so I'm probably gonna just like crunch these up to use in things. You wanna try some corn, Rowan? I don't like most freeze dried things, so let's see. Yummy, yeah. yummy, yummy, yummy. Well, try it. Okay. Well, I don't like corn from the start, but it's okay. Can I try it? Yeah, try the freeze dried corn. I tried this corn. Yeah, try the corn. Mm. Chili for dinner. No. No. So then we have this big pot of chicken noodle soup that it looks funny because it we put it on the deck and then it was so cold it just froze solid faster than we expected. And so I just was kind of busting it up, let it thaw just enough that I can bust it up and I'm gonna spread it all over the trays. I have the freeze dryer defrosting because between rounds of freeze drying the ice that builds up in the freeze dryer needs to defrost so that it can work efficiently so you can just let it do it naturally like overnight um, since it's only six o'clock and a defrost takes a couple hours if you like set it on a warming defrost I did that so that I could put the chicken soup in before bed if I was closer to bedtime I would just let it naturally defrost overnight with the door open. Alex, that sucks. Just heading out to milk and we checked the fire and apparently we left it too long. There is only just enough, Get the cow, just barely right? any coals. So I'm gonna head out to milk in the dark. I kind of want to go to bed. Where's that light? And, um, how can I not get this on? How? Oh. Oh. <laughs> there was something on that glove. Anyhow. Oh, it's baking soda from feeding the cows. It's 7.30. I would like to go to bed. But instead I'm going to go outside where it's really cold and milk the cow. The things we do for butter and cheese. So, have a lovely weekend, friends. I hope it treats you well.